hi everyone welcome to my channel uh, today i want to show you how to crochet this basket weave stitch beanie hat this hat is so easy uh, it's uh, six rows repeated but uh, it's not difficult at all uh, we first make a rib band then start the body of the hat around the long edge of rib band and uh, we repeat uh, six rounds several times until the height of hat reach the desired size then complete uh, the top of the hat for this hat i used uh, a worsted weight yarn and two number of hooks the first is uh, 4.5 for the rib band and the second is uh, is a five millimeters hook for the body uh, if you're ready let's get started i start the rib band with smaller hook first make a slip knot and then chain 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 these chains determine the width of the rib band and you can adjust that skip first chain and make a single crochet into second chain again single crochet into the next chain single crochet into the next and I have to make one single crochet into each chain at the end I have nine stitches for next uh, for next row chain one and turn the work and make one single crochet into first stitch and for next stitch I uh, have to make one single crochet into back loop of that here again insert hook into back loop of next stitch and make one single crochet one single crochet into back loop of next stitch and other stitches And now for last stitch, I make one single crochet into under both loops. Okay, chain one and turn the work and repeat this round. One single crochet under both loops of first stitch, one single crochet into back loop of middle stitches one two three four five six and seven and one single crochet under both loops of last stitch again chain one turn the work and repeat this uh, row we have to repeat a row of single crochets and make one single crochet into each stitch uh, until the length of uh, our rib band reach the desired uh, circumference and the number of rows should be multiple of six okay i made 60 rows of uh, single crochets totally and it's enough for me but uh, you can uh, add or subtract the number of rows to adjust circumference and notice that the number of rows must be a multiple of six now i want to join both edges together so i bring two sides of that together to create a circle and start slip stitching through back loop of stitches of last row and front loop of stitches of first row so insert the hook into back loop of first stitch of last row and into remaining loop of stitch of first row and grab the yarn pull through and make slip stitch again insert into next uh, next stitch back loop of next stitch and remaining loop of next stitch of first row and grab the yarn pull through and make a slip stitch again slip stitch through back loop and front loop and continue slip stitching through stitches of last row and first row until the end and 
and this is last stitch join them together and now pull the yarn and uh, remove the hook and then I turn this band so that slip stitches are into, into the hat and with larger hook start the body for start the body of the hat first make a chain and make a single crochet into same stitch same space and then make a single crochet into last stitch of next row of rib band again single crochet into last stitch of next row I have to make one single crochet into each row end of rib band and at the end the number of stitches should be equal to the number of rows in this case the number of stitches should be 60 I repeat this until the end at the end I have 60 single crochets join with slip stitch into first single crochet and start next round chain 2 and in this round I have to make one double crochet into each stitch so make one double crochet into same stitch then make one double crochet into next stitch double crochet into next stitch and continue making double crochets into each stitch around okay at the end make one slip stitch into first double crochet and for next round make two chains in this round I want to make one front post double crochet around first three stitches so yarn over insert the hook around first stitch not these two chains but this first stitch insert the hook from front to back to front again yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two again make one front post double crochet around next stitch and one front post around next and then make three back post double crochet yarn over insert the hook from back to front to back again around next stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two again yarn over insert around next stitch yarn over pull through and complete that and for last time yarn over insert hook around next stitch from back to front to back yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two pull through two I have three front post double crochet and three back post double crochet and then repeat these six stitches again make one front post double crochet around next three stitches one two and three and one back post double crochet around next three stitches one two and three and repeat that several times until the end at the end again make a slip stitch into first front post double crochet chain two I have to repeat in this round 
yeah, actually I make one front post double crochet around each front post double crochet and one back post double crochet around each back post. So yarn over, insert the hook from front to back to front, again first front post double crochet, not uh, this chain two, here. One, again, front post double crochet around next front post and one front post double crochet around the next and one back post double crochet around next three back posts one two and three and repeat that three front posts three back posts until the end and after that make a slip stitch at the end into first front post double crochet and for next round again I have to repeat this round uh, round of three front post and three back post actually I uh, have to make three rounds of three front posts and three back posts I repeat that and then I'll come back Okay, after these three rounds of three front posts and three back posts, I uh, make two chain and in this round I want to make one back post around each front post and one front post around each back post. So yarn over and make one back post double crochet around first front post double crochet. Then make one back post around next front post and one back post around next front post. Now make one front post around next three back posts. One, two, and three again one back post around next three front posts one two and three one front post around next three back posts And repeat until the end at the end make one slip stitch into first back post double crochet chain two and in this round uh, make one back post around each back post and one front post around each front post one two and three back posts then one front post two and three again one back post around each next three back posts, one front post around next three front posts. I repeat until the end and after that I repeat uh, one more time of this round. Actually I have to make three rounds of three back posts then three front posts. I repeat until the end. Okay after these six rounds, round uh, three to round eight. A basket weave shape uh, has created as you can see that and after that we have to repeat these six rounds. Uh, 
we repeat round three to round eight several times until the height of the hat from the start of rib band reach the desired size. I uh, continue making these uh, rounds and then I'll come back. I uh, repeated round three to round eight one more time. And now the height of my hat is 80. And it's enough for me. You may need to uh, continue crocheting these uh, rounds, but uh, uh, now I want to decrease the top of the hat. So chain two and make one front post double crochet around first back post double crochet. And then make one front post double crochet around next two back posts. Insert the hook from front to back to front around two stitches at the same time and make one front post double crochet. Then make one back post around first front post and then make one back post around next two double crochets together. Yarn over, insert hook from back to front to back again around both of next stitches and make one back post double crochet. Okay, and repeat that. One front post around next back post and one decrease front post around next two back posts. One back post around next front post one decrease back post around next two front posts. And repeat that until the end. One and one decrease front post. One back post and one decrease back post. I continue until the end. At the end, slip stitch into first front post, chain two, and make one front post double crochet around each front post. One front post around first front post double crochet, and one front post around next front post decrease here. Then make one back post around next two stitches, one around next back post and one around next back post decrease stitch. Repeat that. One front post around next two stitches and one back post around next two stitches. Repeat until the end. Okay. After slip stitch into first front post double crochet for next round, chain two, and now I want to decrease the number of stitches again. So make one back post double crochet uh, around both of next two front post double crochets. Yarn over, insert talk from back to front around first two front post double crochets and make one decrease stitch. Okay. And then make one front post around next two stitches. It's a front post decrease stitch around these two back posts. Again, make one back post decrease stitch around next two front posts. And one front post decrease stitch around next two back posts. And repeat that. One back post decrease and one front post decrease. Continue until the end. Now for last round, make two chains and one back post around first back post double crochet and one front post around next front post double crochet 
make one back post and one front post. One back post around next stitch, one front post around next stitch. And continue making past back posts and front posts until the end to complete this round. At the end, make one slip stitch into first back post and fasten off and leave a long end for swing. Cut the yarn. And now uh, I want to close this hole at the top of my hat. So turn hat inside and with a yarn needle. Weave the yarn through all stitches of uh, last round, okay? Weave through last round, in and out. Pull the yarn and again for next stitches repeat that. And pull the yarn tightly to close this hole and then secure with stitches. Now cut the yarn and turn the hat to right side again and now uh, my basket weave hat is ready. Uh, then I attach a pom pom at top of the hat. I hope this tutorial will be useful for you. If you like that please thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a nice day.